This is part two of episode 13 of Think Like a Master Electrician. If you didn't watch the first part, you might want to go back because we previously answered this question. This is just a supplement to show you how to solve this a different way. Let's get into it. So we know we're trying to find EMT for eight T, uh, number six THHW insulated conductors. Well, we used the annex in C1 to find the answer previously. What if these wires are of dissimilar sizes? Remember, the very key phrase in Annex C is for conductors of the same, of the wires of the same size. So, uh, first we got to look at Table One: percentage of cross-section fill of conduit and tubing for conductors and cables. Since we have eight wires, that's over two, which means we're only actually able to use forty percent fill of the conduit, which seems like a little bit, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, so how do we know we're using 40%? Well, you're gonna have to go to table five. This is the dimension of insulated conductors and fixture wires. How this table works is you find the size on your column here, uh, our insulation, then we find the size. So we know we have THHW, we know we have number six. I have this highlighted in a, in a big box. It makes it easier for my eye to jump to this every single time. But we'll see number six has a square or volume of 0 0.0726 inches square. So how we do this is we take our calculator, 0 0.0726. And then we have 8 times 8. That means we have to have a volume of 0.5808. So now we can go from table five to table four. And uh, excuse me, table four are the dimensions and percentage fill. We're going to be looking for EMT, which is here. And we're over two wires, so it's 40%. And looking at our calculator again, we need 0.58. We have 0.598. So, inch and a quarter. That's two ways to solve the question, get the same answer. If you have dissimilar sizes, this is the method you would have to use. Go to table five, then go to table four and find the volume. Hope that helps.